down the wicket and smash over extra cover one bounce four good aggression from Saeed Anwar fine shot from Anwar down the wicket hitting it on the up over head of cover nobody deep on that side of the wicket and he's looked very impressive hitting the ball well Smashed away again. Square the wicket. Great shot. And a fine shot from Anwa. Hitting over pitch, he gets onto very quickly. Lifting it over the short cover field. Square on the offside. Very strong square on the offside. And now, gets into the act and seizes up. Razak has whacked that over extra cover and has seized up as if he'd been shot in the back by a sniper. This has been struggling with his footwork and what a fine shot, but obviously, there we see in pain, seized up totally. I just wonder how much longer is he going to continue to bat. A brilliant catch! My goodness me, that was good. He leathered that straight at Mahanama, who's in at a short catching cover position, and he held on to it. Amazing. Excellent piece of cricket. It wasn't a bad shot by any means. Said Anwar likes him in that area. Hit it pretty well. Roshman Harmana is a specialist close infielder. What a magnificent catch. Well, Syed Anwar hits those as hard as anybody I know in cricket. And that was the full face of the bat. He smashed it as he has done on two other occasions where they've gone for four. And a brilliant catch by Mahanama. 17 Anwar made of only 15 balls with those two memorable cover drives for four. Pakistan 31 for one. Each has armoured coming in at number three needs one more for his 200th one day match straight down the ground hit that very hard back past the bowler for four this he goes airborne it's a huge hit I think that might have been onto the roof of the little stand just alongside our commentary box here now Razak faces up to push for Kamara and he's caught and bowled him. So Razak's agony comes to an end as ever so slowly he limps away having offered a return catch to push Kamara and he took it rather well as it was uh, to his right shoulder in the follow through and he checked well to be able to take the catch and this poor man slowly makes his way off. Good catch. Pushpa Kamara. It's a long run up and a rapid follow through. Catching someone, something hitting back at you firmly like that in that situation is never easy. But he did it well. So Razak gone for 15 and Pakistan now two down for 46. Again, Kepler would say that uh, the conditions suit in Zimam. You see his record is tremendous, 38 the average. Pushpa Kamara bowls, hit high and very handsomely by Ejaz. Now suddenly, where does Ejaz find this form from? He's an amazing character. He hasn't looked like scoring a run on this tour so far. He walks in today and he's just hitting the ball unbelievably well. It is quite remarkable. Oh, he smashed that. Goodness me. Over the MTN signs. Six more to Ejaz. 33 in 22 balls. And that's beautifully timed. Talking of timing, Lee Irvin. That's run away to the boundary as well. Well, you could see that he knew 
what Chavinda Vas was going to do. Change his line, 78 for two. There you go, over the top, six again. Beautifully executed stroke that, and you'll see why on the replay. Well, the excellence of this stroke was the way he made a room to give him to get himself the space to hit the six. It's 89 for two. That's his 50. He's 28th in one day internationals. Offers a little prayer and salutes the crowd. 17 overs gone, 99 for two. Just one, and that brings up the Sri Lankan 100 in the 18th over, Pakistan 100 I should say. Now he does come down the wicket and hits a huge one, this could break the window here. Well, it's coming straight for us in the commentary box. Goes to Ijaz who swings, it's in the air, he might be caught, he is caught. Very good catch at backward square leg there, and Ijaz Ahmed has gone, and that is a very important wicket for Sri Lanka to pick up. Ever so dangerous, Ijaz Ahmed. He just didn't keep it down, or alternatively, he didn't loft it high enough over the head of the fielder down at backward square leg. See, down on one knee, and he made a reasonable connection, but not good enough. And so the end of Ejaz, caught by Pushpa Kamara for 59 and faster than a runner ball, 55 balls, three fours and four towering sixes, Pakistan three for 126. Down the wicket, hit it high, over cover, and that's six. Very good, it clears the crowd, tremendous shot there. And this by Moen Khan, not Inzamam. What a fine cricket shot that was. Mo Moen Khan picked it up the flight and come down the wicket quickly and lifted over extra cover for six. That's a good cricket shot that very few sixes are hit over extra cover. Oh, that's a good shot. Absolutely straight. He doesn't move. He knows he's hit it hard enough. Up against the Standard Bank hoardings. From a Pakistani point of view, it's pleasing that Ijaz got into some good form today. Inzaman as well. Both players have been struggling on this tour. They're such key men in this Pakistani batting lineup. One more, and Inzaman Al Haq goes to his half century. Nicely played, but he's got to do more. But what's to do, it's up to him if Pakistan want to win this match. He's their premier batsman. He's a fine player. Down the wicket, he's hit that miles. Over the side screen. Might have landed in the big hole. Terrific shot. That's huge. It would earn him a bus ticket into town. It's a superb shot. Straight drive. Strong man, perfect timing. Out of the ballpark. Same shot is repeated and he could be run out. Oh, back in time. Fortunately, Inzamam sent him back quickly and early. Trying to repeat the shot directly to the field <coughs> excuse me to the fielder well what happened there is Graham that the wicket keeper actually knocked the bales off before the ball reached him you see there they go and then he has to pull out the stump by then he would have been home but if he hadn't have done that I think he might have been out playing the reverse sweep he should be caught and is Easy catch for Chaminda Vass. And uh, Graham Pollock was talking about the frustration and that's what brings about an attempt at a shot like that by Moen Khan. And 
an easy catch for Shemin Devas at short third man. The way he played, it he turned him into a short fine leg. Attempted reverse sweep from Moen Khan. He's getting underneath it. Shemin Devas, the man just behind, square on the offside, an easy catch for him. It's for that man in that position. It's a very low percentage shot that and uh, Moen Khan paying the penalty. Out for 34, but not a bad innings from 48 balls. Just the one six that he hit over extra cover was a magnificent shot. And now Pakistan 212 for four. So Mohammed Hussain comes to join Inzamam ul Haq. Young man of 21, he's only his 11th match and hasn't featured very much yet. Chandana in the meanwhile to Inzamam opens his shoulders coming towards us in the commentary box again and just time thank goodness it's just below the commentary box windows that it hits and he hits it it's a good hit too I think it might go for six man was out there at long on trying to get round and make the catch but he couldn't get there in time and if he had him i don't think he could have done much about that good flow by mohammed hussein fine shot from hussein straight back over shamanda vice's head he really collected that one well it was a man in the deep makes a great effort but uh, six vital runs and hussein hammers and he's picked the gap beautifully between the man at cover point on the boundary and long off. And that's four very, very good runs. Wow, that's massive. That's all it takes to suddenly put it back to seven. Smashed it over long off. What a great shot. Wouldn't have been any good had they had the chat. Because the middle stump is removed by Chamin Devas with the perfect delivery. Well, Mohammed Hussain has really done a fine job here. He's only made 20, but uh, he made them in 18 balls and he gave a lot of the strike to his senior partner. But that really was a first class ball from Chamin Devas. He's been punished today and certainly that was the perfect answer to this Pakistani dominance. Mohammed Hussein, I referred to him just now as Wazim Akram. My apologies to both of you gentlemen. Out for 20, Pakistan 260 for five. So, as a Mahmoud, we've seen his capabilities with a bat, so that average of 15 just goes straight out of the window. Two successive hundreds against South Africa in the Test Series out here, plus a century on debut in Pakistan. Here a little to Imzimam. Down the ground, he's hit that very hard through the mid-wicket area. It's away for four and a hundred for Imzimam Ulhaq. And what a hundred it's been. Absolutely scintillating. In only 101 balls, he's been out there 142 minutes. Three fours and four sixes. And those sixes mostly were enormous. But this man came in. He was out of touch when he came in. He pushed around and took the singles and got himself into form. And now his hundred could not have been scored with a more dominating shot. That's up in the air. Long off comes in to get under it and does so. But importantly, Inzamam has crossed as a Mahmoud not really getting it in the middle of the bat and another wicket falls and more drama unfolds long off positions him catches a comfortable catch Pushpa Kamara has actually been involved in most of the wickets that took all today. And Mahmoud goes for two and now it's 269 for six. Wazi Makram, the man that Robin Jackman thought should have been in, is now there. That's out of the ground. What a way to finish. The crowd roar on. The players run off. 
sensational finish from Wazim Akram and over to spare Pakistan romp home against a huge total of 295 set by the world champions and these are scenes we don't like to see out on the square at the moment we thought they had gone somebody wants a souvenir and that's not necessary security have got there early but this was the last ball of the game and what better way to finish it than with this magnificent stroke by Wazim Akram right out of the park the game was over but my goodness that was dominance and he walks immediately that he sees the ball going to carry over the fence and it brings up the Pakistani 300 they then see the crowd running onto the field and in their delight they have to run